What is up, risk takers? Welcome to the Kill Pete strategy. I am Pete. I am a top 10 player playing the game of Risk Global Domination on PC. I have a daily release schedule on YouTube. Fridays we do a fixed game. Wednesdays we do the podcast style interview show. And every other day is whatever I feel like. I'm a specialist in progressive cards and free-for-all multiplayer, and if you are interested in getting better at the game of Risk, I invite you to subscribe to my channel and come along this ride with me. And today we are playing a six-player, but we lost one, a progressive game on Classic. Nothing fancy, 60-second turns, balance splits for rolls, uh, no filtering of rank, uh, no fog, no alliances, no blizzards. And I am in the fourth position. So in the first position, we have Rhett Bergmark. Flying the flag of the United States of America. 72 hours played with 21 wins and 112 losses. In the second position, also from USA, Lil Killer for Hire. Let's see if we can buy some luck. 67 hours to 11 to 34 win to loss. <coughs> In the third position, we have General Lala 76, 79, flying the flag of Sweden with a brand new account. One online loss. I'm in the fourth position. This is my uh, anything goes alt. I usually play six player progressive, uh, 56 hours on this one with 78 wins and 75 losses. Losing a three stack in Africa right off the bat. After me, we have an expert AI. And in the final position, Omar Bayrudi. Also flying the U.S. flag, 28 hours with 7 wins and 58 losses. And nobody uh, particularly scary in this game. This guy looks like he's checking odds. I don't know where I want to go yet, but I'm in a number of positions. So it's going to mostly depend on where I think my other opponents are going to go. And it already looks like yellow wants Europe. So maybe I cut into here. Green's going the no Australia, no win plan. He's going to pull this army down. Right? No. Give me the chance to leave. Hmm. I think I'm going to spend some time in Europe this game. If Yellow wants... Or I spend some time in Asia, rather. If Yellow wants Europe, they can have it. Maybe this concentrates uh, green. Force them down into Australia. Let's see where the bot goes. Bot's in North America and Egypt. Okay. I would like to be in three positions, but I don't want those three positions to get popped. So usually when I'm against more novice opponents, like in this game, two positions seems a bit safer as long as they are less offensive in general. And finally, what does the blue player do? They think about it. And they think about it some more. And then they bought out. Okay, so we had two bots. Magenta and blue. And of course, <laughs> of course, I lose my South American position. Well, try as I might to be in two places, I'm only in one, really, because I don't think this is going to live very long. Okay, well. To my surprise, Yellow says, I would also like South America. No, they're just pulling their troops out and adding it to the European position. Or 
destroy them for no reason. That's also an option. Okay. Yellow is just pissing away all their troops. Hmm, maybe I can have Australia. Let's see what green does. Green's down to 14. Also likes attacking too much. Where does green go? Do they add to Australia? I don't know what I would do if I was in green shoes. Yeah, they do. Okay. An easy take. Cool. Alright, here's where I'm going to do something dumb. I'm going to attack, I'm going to add troops, I'm going to attack green in Australia. It's just going to piss him off, but here we are. Anything goes, right? I'm just going to fuck around. Um, I will still try to win this game, but bots now. Magenta removes green's exterior position. Okay, green's lining up to look a lot more like the fish. 14 troops. Man, most of my opponents are so weak. Blue bot has 25. And it finishes South America. Does the chip take on me in Kamchatka? Okay. So we move to the third turn. Yellow has shown their willingness to piss away their troops. Tough to say what yellow's trying to do. I'm going to go that way. Six on two. Yellow's playing hard to predict. got out of Europe because I assume they wanted it, but they have been playing like they do. Alright, Orange finishes Africa now. Magenta is down to 16. All my opponents are in the teens except for the blue bot. Maybe I finish Australia next turn. Probably would have enough to guard it. You guys get to see me go for continents and progressive. <laughs> Which I usually advocate not doing. Let's try it and see how it goes. Oh, they add. Okay, I guess I can't take it. do the split sure so 
So if, if, if I have 7 left, I'll take out the second 3. Because 7 on 3 is 100%. No Australia, no win, right? Ooh, three troops. That sucks. Well, saving grace is green has to punch through yellow's two stack. And even if yellow tries to do it, five on three isn't 100%. So maybe I hold. Maybe not. I don't feel terribly on the back foot, even if I lose all four of these territories, because I still have what I had before up in Asia. Okay. Magenta taking over North America. Blue lining up to break Africa? No. Orange is gonna hold Africa. Green is down to 11 troops. I wonder what green does. Possibility of an early match, try and come break me. You guys know that's possible. And this is another reason why I don't advocate taking for continents, but I just I just felt like messing around today. Ooh, okay, and yellow's gonna take Europe. Or do they break Africa instead? They hold. They're trying to guard Europe. Okay, well, look who gets to hold Africa. A little killer for hire. Up to twenty one troops. What do you do, sir? In a single position? No, they have a little piece of North America. That isn't going to live long, sandwiched between two bots. So they will be in a single position. Yeah, my only fear now would be green matching in and punching through the two to get to my three stack and breaking Australia. Oh, and look at that. Orange gets value out of their two in North America before it is obliterated. <laughs> oh, the sarcastic well played. I guess it wasn't sarcastic. Might as well get value out of those twos before they're gone. Okay, so we have eight troops in Siberia. Do they hit either of my big stacks in Vengeance? No, they roll eight on three. I think green is just lining themselves up for me to eat them. So I'm going to take Afghanistan on my turn. I'm going to hold here with eight. I want to match as late as possible so that my match is as big as possible. There's very low incentive to killing opponents in the early matching sequence because you end up net negative in terms of troops. I also dislike how green is running their whole clock out. Your turns can literally be this quick. But I guess it's their 60 seconds to use. Yep, Magenta Bot matches in. You lose orange from North America. You have bot versus bot on this side of the world. Blue bot matches in and ruins orange's day. Sorry, orange, you're getting invaded. Losing seven troops. Ooh, eight, nine. Ooh, poor orange. Losing nine troops to the bot slamming into them. Orange might consider matching in early now. Because they are the fish, but so is green. Wow, some of my opponents are so weak. <laughs> it's crazy. Alright, and yellow will not match, so yellow's going to take Europe. I'm going to remove that two stack on my next turn. Try 
trying to guard Europe. Maybe. Hey, I'm recording a video. Night. Good night. Ah, good. You going to bed? Yep. And they do. They match early. <laughs> they punch the pot back. <laughs> sure. They punch the, ba the bot back real hard. Yellow gives the well played. Revenge on the bot has been accomplished. All right, let's see if we can get the green player to hold five cards. Green player matches in. Is that coming into me? Am I going to eat it? Am I going to get the revenge too? I think I am. And this is why you don't take continents in progressive. Bam. Bam. Bam, bam, bam. Yes. Revenge. No. Didn't do it. Matched in early. Didn't do it. Okay. So match point is 12. I have the plus 2 in Afghanistan. I have the continent bonus. Ooh, I can get five cards from yellow. Ooh. Sorry, yellow. Why? <laughs> Ooh, that's exciting. Who's next? Um, can I kill green is 25. Can I kill orange is 16. And a little bonus from the horsies. 16, eh? Yeah, I think I can. Like you made another trade? It will. Let's do it. And just like that, I remove both of my human opponents on the same turn. I mean, now it just makes sense to punch green. Fuck, it is so satisfying when the turns work out like this, isn't it? <laughs> oh god, I love this game sometimes. Alright. So this was a bot and blue was actually a player. So let's just uh, clean up one of blue's positions. And we'll send it home next turn. Holding five cards. Holding most of the world. Both my opponents have a single card. That was easy. Guaranteed to take seven. Eleven? Twelve? Let's see if it's twelve. Hundred percent? Cool. Take blue. And take magenta. And that's the game. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope you found some of it entertaining and or informative. Hope that if you are interested in getting better with the game of Risk, I have a daily release schedule on YouTube. Uh, we do fixed game on Fridays. We do the podcast on Wednesdays. I invite you to subscribe to this channel and come along the ride with me. Um, also, to remind you, if you are looking to compete with some of the best players in the world, come on down to the Discord. Signups for the free for all tournament are August sixth, and. We would love to have you around and have you com competing. So, 
Um, until next time, for all of you on the path to world domination, good games and good luck.